Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about vaccinations and my views on vaccinations. Now, I am not a vet, I am not an expert. This is just my opinion based on the research that I have done over the years, as well as bringing my dogs to a holistic veterinarian and just knowing lots of different breeders and being in the dog world for many years with um, you know all of the pets that I have. Now, we are all conditioned as pet owners uh, for years and years and years. It was the normal thing to do to bring your dogs to the veterinarian every year and have vaccinations done. This is, in my opinion, like I said, is so detrimental to their health. You are, you know, when you do that, their little immune systems are just being bombarded with everything. Not only the viruses that are in these vaccines, but also the materials or the, um, I think it's called adjuvant or something like that, that the virus is in, the, the liquid that the virus is in, a lot of that stuff contains harmful chemicals that have caused cancer and it is a known fact you can do the research that vaccinations do play with your dog's immune system and cause a lot of disease especially if you are getting vaccinations every year and they don't need it they really just do not need the vaccinations every year. I think that, you know, it's a big money maker for veterinarians to have their clients come back in every year and do the vaccinations. And it's sad, you know, you have to be an advocate for your pet. And I am coming to you to share with you my thoughts and views on vaccinations, but more so to give you guys a reason to do your own research. Research it on your own. Uh, there are so many people out there that just don't realize the dangers of vaccinations and over vaccinating. And so I feel like, you know, I would like to just cause awareness so that you can go out and do your own research on what the different um, things that over vaccinating causes. And cancer, things like cancer, um, immune system, you know, you're, you're, if you're vaccinating every year, you're basically bombarding the immune system and shutting that immune system down, which then leaves them open to getting more diseases as they get older. So this is the what I follow. I'm, I am not against vaccination. Please, you know, don't misunderstand me. I am not against vaccination. I think that vaccinations are necessary. However, I definitely disagree with annual vaccinations. It's way too much. In recent years, there have been studies and research that has proven that once puppies get their uh, puppy vaccinations, you know, when they're puppies, they usually have lifelong immunity for those diseases, lifelong. Yet most vets are still continuing to vaccinate every single year. Why? Why? And it's because, you know, they want us to believe that that is the responsible thing to do. Well, my job is to be their advocate because they can't speak for themselves and I have done the research and I don't vaccinate my pets yearly. So what do I do? And what would I encourage you to research to do you know, on your own? This is how I, um, I look at it. First of all, think about a baby and think about yourself. You know, we vaccinate our babies, our human babies, uh, when they are babies and they don't get vaccinated every year. Like that's absurd. So why would a dog get vaccinated every year? It's just crazy to me. 
it's not necessary and it's been proven that it's not necessary so this is what i do i get my puppies vaccinated you know when they are puppies they get their, their all of their vaccinations when i'm doing this i don't get any vaccination that i don't feel is necessary for the risk that it provides for instance lepto lepto is a disease that dogs can get when they are in contact with rat urine my dogs are never in contact with rat urine they're never going to be in contact with rat urine so i don't get that vaccine i leave that one out um, i do get the rabies and because it's required by law so you do have to get your rabies um, and when you're getting your rabies, ask for the three-year vaccine. It's the same exact vaccine as the one year. So you are, you know, when you're getting it every three years, that's two times that you're not giving them the, vac the same vaccine. So the least amount of times you can give that vaccine, the better. And if your county, you know, allows you to get an every three year vaccine rather than the yearly, please do that. Um, also, it is important that when you're doing the vaccinations that you do not get the five in one shot or allow your vet to give them all of their vaccines in one visit. Please, please, please do not do this. This is way too much on their immune system and you will basically shut their immune system down. It is convenient for you, it is convenient for the vet. Well, the vet don't care because you're going back again, but it's mainly convenient for the owner. However, it is not the best thing to do for your, for your dog. And I will give you a great example that just happened. My assistant has a bulldog puppy and she should know better because she knows me and she knows how i am but she just wasn't thinking and she is a great pet owner she is probably one of the most responsible pet owners that you know you can have so you know people just you don't think you know you have a new puppy and you're doing what your vet says and so you just don't think about it but she didn't think and she went to the vet and her vet gave her puppy all of her vaccinations at one time and it totally made little penelope so sick just one or two days later after she got her vaccinations and she got the works i mean her vet gave the poor little puppy everything she got so sick that my assistant was so scared it took her about two weeks to get over the illness that she got. And what happened was her immune system just got shut down. It totally shut down and she got sick. She got a horrible, horrible cold. She couldn't breathe. She had yellow snot in her nose. She was coughing. It was horrible. And I, I felt so bad for her and she felt so bad. She wanted to like, you know, kick herself in her own butt because she's like, I know better, I know better, but I just wasn't thinking. And she, but you know, once it was given, it was too late. And she put that, you know, poor little puppy, um, or not her, but the vet, the vet should know better. They put her at risk and it just totally made her sick for over two weeks. She was on um, antibiotics, antihistamines you name it she was on and plus it gave my assistant just sleepless sleepless nights because she would basically sleep with the puppy on her chest because she was so afraid that she was going to get so stopped up that she wasn't going to be able to breathe and you know she called the vet and i was like i would call the vet and be i would oh my goodness I was so pissed off for her, for her because I couldn't believe that that vet gave that puppy all of those vaccinations at one time. And, you know, she called them and they said that, well, this is what we always give and this is just the normal doses. Well, you know what? Every dog and every puppy is different. So, yes, while they do do this, you know, all the time, which they shouldn't be doing, 
most puppies probably, you know, make out just fine. But what if your puppy is the one where their immune system is not quite strong enough yet to handle it and your puppy gets sick? So is it worth it? No, it's not. So that's just a personal story that just happened a few weeks ago. And she was like, please tell everybody, you know, what happened with Penelope because I could just kick myself. And, and I wish I would have known she was going to do that or, you know, because I would have told her, you know, look, that get the puppy shots, definitely get the vaccinations, but don't get everything all in one day. And that's where the vet really, really, really did her a, a disservice and did, you know, the puppy harm. So back, you know, I'm always losing my train of thought. So back to my, um, my routine as far as what I do. I get the puppy shots. However, I space them out into a few visits. And then when the puppy is one year old, I will get a booster for just the parvo, uh, parvo distemper because that's the one that is most common around here. So I do get that done at one year of age. And then after that, no more vaccinations. Now, how do I feel comfortable about doing that? Every three years, from that point forward, I get my vet to run what is called a titer. A titer is a blood test that will check the immunity level for the particular disease. So there are parvo titers, there's distemper um, titers, and it's just where they take blood from your, from your dog and it will check the immunity level for those diseases. I have yet to have a dog come back with a low titer, and I have done my vaccinations like this for years. Is it more expensive? Yes, it is. It's more expensive to get the titers than it is to get the shots. However, I believe that my pet's health is worth it, so I would rather get the blood test than give them the vaccination. It's just better for them and that's the way I do it. If for any reason you can't afford to do the titers, then I would at least do your vaccinations every, no, no sooner than every three to four years apart. They don't need them longer than that. They probably need them like I said, one series of puppy shots and then at one year will last them more than likely for the lifetime of your pet. However, because just like in little Penelope's situation, every dog's immune system is different. So you don't really want to take that chance of only doing it as a puppy and then never doing it again without knowing the tighter status because some you know some pets i have read the research and some pets go for a lifetime uh, with their immunity for those particular diseases some pets you know go out to seven years to five years it's just going to depend so if you're not going to be doing titers then you have to figure out a reasonable amount of time to space those vaccines apart to where your pet is still going to be covered but they are not going to be over vaccinated so i highly suggest you talking to your veterinarian but you're going to have to find a veterinarian that is up to date on integrative veterinary care, such as a holistic veterinarian um, or an integrative vet. Because if you go to your regular vet or if you use a regular vet that firmly believes in annual vaccinations, they will argue you down on why annual vaccinations are necessary. So just be aware, do your research, and make your own decisions. Be an advocate for your pet. Uh, look up on YouTube. You can look up Dr. Karen Becker. You can look up Dr. Judy Morgan. They have done videos on vaccinations 
and then look up Dr. Jean Dodd, Dr. Dodd, D-O-D-D. -D. Look up, you know, what she has written. She has written many books, many articles on vaccination and on over vaccination of pets. And you can make your own decisions on what is best for your pet. But my job here today was just to bring you awareness and to, you know, kind of get the word out there and let you make your own decision on what's best for you. So that concludes this video. We love you guys and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.